so, uh, you know, I'm disappointed in our team. You know, we, it's a quick turnaround. We've had two really good games and we acted like a real young team against uh, a team that's had a lot of, they're, they're still talented. You know, Jim's team's talent, they're older and they've lost close games and they've lost, you know, obviously people and, and, I don't know, on the quick turnaround, if our guys felt that this was going to be, we did not play well. Bottom line, if we can go through a whole bunch of things, I didn't think we competed. I thought we were soft. And I saw it in practice yesterday and tried to take steps to change that. And, um, yeah, we, we were not able to change it. I, I'm 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 really disappointed in our team. They did not play like a Duke basketball team tonight, and obviously I'm responsible for that. But uh, so anyway, yeah, we the last two games we won and we were deserving to win. We were we were not tonight. I mean, we threw the ball to them about five times where they just we threw it right to them where they got layups, and we were very soft. We are very soft and uh, it, it, extremely disappointing. Uh, extremely disappointing. Any questions that you all might have? All right. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, we'll go to Steve Wiseman first. Wendell told us just now that, that you know, you had told him the practice wasn't very good yesterday. You thought the walkthrough was a little more energetic today, but but it's on them to, to fix that during the game, and, and they, they didn't. And is that – not to put, single him out, but he's who we talked to. Is a guy like him a guy you need to step up and, and do that, or Matthew or Jordan, some of the veterans? Is that is that would that help you get out of this? Well, if anybody steps up, it helps, Steve. But you know, you you need to uh, you need to hit it at the moment you see it. We saw it yesterday. You take care of it yesterday. You don't take care of it during a ball game, and and uh, they're real young. <laughs> they are like really young, and for us to win, we have to play really hard and well together. Like we're not this real. We're not a. We're just a good basketball team. You know, we're not. We don't have the old, we don't have, we have talent. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, yeah. we have to really play hard to win. And if we don't play hard, we're going to lose. And if we play hard, we still might lose, but we're going to get better and go after it. But we didn't play hard tonight. It's sad. It really is sad. Uh, coming off those two, two games. And again, you play like three games in six days and we're not tired, don't get me wrong in that, but you have to be mature enough to handle three games in that period of time and, and be prepared for each one. You know, I, I told them, if you come down to Miami to play, we will lose. If you come down to Miami to compete, we will win. And I give them the example of, you know, the game, the game of basketball obviously is a great game and it's been great to me and I love it passionately. But the game that I'm talking about is the game, like tonight, the game. That single game is the most selfish thing in our game. And it's selfish because it does not care about what you did in the previous game. It doesn't care what you did, what you're gonna do in the future game. And if you don't come completely immersed in it, it will not reward you. That's what I've talked to them about. 
you have to handle this game and the game will hold you accountable. And obviously your opponent will too, unless they don't do it too. And then you might win, <laughs> you, just, you might win, but yeah, I mean, I believe in all that stuff. I mean, that's, that's what I'm, you know, try to teach each one of our teams and, uh, and we'll still continue to try to teach this team. Brendan Marks, you're up. Hey coach, uh, Wendell had mentioned that it was a sort of a similar thing earlier this year when you guys won those couple of ACC games at the start of the calendar year and then lost a couple. He, he said he thought that that was a, a comparative situation energy wise. Is that fair to say in your opinion or do you see similarities between that stretch and the way the guys responded or did not tonight? No, there, it is similar, you know, but we're also older, right? We've been at that time, they had not won like that. So that's what, you know, lessons learned, right? You know, the, the, the best teacher is experience and in anything. And uh, you have to learn from your experiences. So yeah, we, we brought that up. Like, like, don't be happy, you know, be, be hungry. And I told them, you know, we do the job, be happy on Tuesday. Let's just take Tuesday and be really happy and giddy and whatever. And uh, so none of that worked. <laughs> none, of the, none of that worked. And again, that's on me. I, 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 and I'm not just saying that. I, it is on me, you know, to get your message across. You know, I was not able to get my message across. Thank you. All right, uh, Max Rigo, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, what was kind of your reasoning uh, for going to that zone late in the first half, and what did you see out of your out of the guys once you once you made the switch? Well, because we couldn't stop them. You know, our man to man was horrible, and the zone really was effective. You know, we got the lead and probably should have been up four or six points, and. Uh, but it's like, yeah, yeah. We, and then that petered out in the second half, you know, because we, we weren't playing it with the aggressiveness that you need, need to play. Like what, it didn't matter what we played. We didn't play it well. And, um, but the zone helped us for a little bit. Jim Sumner, go ahead. Um, Mike, what was Miami doing in offense so effectively that made it so hard for Duke to get the big stops when they needed to? They just executed their stuff better. You know, they're good. I mean, they they uh, they got older guys, and Wong and McGussie are two of the better players in the league, and uh, they just Jim, they just. Yeah, you know, not so much X. They they beat whatever we were trying to trying to do, and a couple of times where you get a one possession lead, where you if you are really fighting in this game, you get a stop. We did not get stops, and uh, and then a, a couple of times just gave them the ball, you know, where they got something free, and you know that helps. Uh, that that helps you. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. All right, thank you all. Thank you, Coach.